Hello, 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 hello. How are we all? Hello to Pond Spencer, Kelly, Gallifrey, and Ren. Do, 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 do. I like soup. Uh, who else? That's it. So far, average old English fairy tale. <laughs> oh, Kelly, your poor lettery. White Raider 12, hello. Did I say White Raider 12? I don't think I said White Raider 12. Did I? Just in case, once again, hello White Raider 12. Hello Tim Tam. Oh. Oh. Ah. Yeah. I think Kelly. Smith has awoken. Not quite. <laughs> it's been one of those, one of those nights followed by a day. A parody of a parody. Uh, uh, Ice Bethel goes, yeah, not too bad, not too bad, as I was just intimating. A little bit tired. It's Christmas game. Uh, no, it isn't. Sending it across. I've got one for you. I don't know when you send it in. Your latest version of your Lightning Bolt F3 hasn't, hasn't actually gone yet, so. Jiminy Christmas. So, I have been sent from Brett Ryland, one of the BDA devs. If it will ever open. Do, 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 do. Refresh the news. And nothing really, no. Ignore the lightning bolt. I will ignore the lightning bolt. What are you doing? I'm trying to grab you and bring you down here past the F's. A lot of F's. Pass the G's. Not many G's. To the hang time GT. This is what I was sent by Brett. Did not come with any actions. But it's got things here in custom 10, which leads me to believe that this craft is actually set up for a dogfight. So I need... I need a suitable opponent to put this up against. <laughs> oh god, it's uh, no missiles. It doesn't really matter. We'll be uh, we'll be redoing this in a second. Ninety percent of the S entries. <laughs> You've switched to the letter N, so soon you'll be uh, responsible for the letter N. Uh, Diet Apple Tango, in case anyone's interested. I'm still scared of those. They always listen to me. Let's go with these scary people. Mm. Yeah, so that that is interesting. Drain X one fuel sensor and action group trigger. Hmm. And I think these are. Uh, Need more tea, hello! What the hell am I going to put these up against? I mean, this is a bit meme but it can actually fly. What was the one I had the other week? I 
Oh, a blank sheet I didn't use there, that's... Was it the one before? I'll just stick it up against my dragonfly. My dragonfly normally suffices for um, just stuff I'm, that I have no idea how it's going to do. Uh, where are we? Uh, hang time GT. Do I have a straight up just gun version of any micro? Maybe the Lynx is actually. Up and up and up we go. Yeah, well, I do have a gun only version of that. Right! Into our little patron Kerbals. Then Bryce, Ghosty, Gorilla, GT. Spawn only! Sorbet and plus Shark. I'll get the essentials, right? I really could do with a shave. This thing is getting far too long. Next to my weird ass jeans, I've just got this, got this little. My beard line sort of stops there, but I've just got this patch of straggly hairs here, which is what I've been sort of fiddling with. It's really, really irritating. Okay. If I have this correct. This should work. Hmm. Well, bugging me sideways with a freshly smoked kipper, it did actually work. How are the Lynxes doing? Yep, they are the uh, gunning version, aren't they? Let's turn that down in the air, old we'll luggo. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens when they sort of get up into like a proper dogfight. Adam Kerman going in just about in gun range. What the hell is the pie chucker when it's at home? Oh, look at that. As you would kind of expect from the BDA devs. The Lynx is giving it the runaround, though. Lynx is really giving it the runaround. Didn't know it had it in him. Oh! <laughs> the one Achilles heel of the hang times. The fact they are not built particularly solidly and the lynxes kind of are. Comes around, okay. Not really lining up shots. Oh, there we go. Shots going in. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Such an opportunity. Not really doing much damage. Until he does. And just, yeah, that other Lynx just got completely... Sorry, that other hang time just got completely... Oh, one of them spinning out. One Lynx is spinning out. Oh. The hang time's trying to put the boot in. But to no avail. We're down to the last healthy links. These things are quite brutal, but they're not looking unbeatable by any stretch of the imagination. Oh! 
and it's another fatality. It's another hand-to-hand -hand kill from the Lynxes. Oh, GT Kerman's missing a bit too much graph now, I think. Yep, and now starts to spin out. Oh. Dan Kerman getting dangerously close there at times. But has won! And this... The most ridiculous of all craft. So, pie chuckers. Is it just is that just a weapon group for the thing there? A single browning. Yeah, no wonder it wasn't actually putting out much damage. Jesus, this thing can turn. That is almost scary. Question I want to know is. Bread came out very. Uh, oh, by the way, it is delicious. Nice. How the hell do you land it? Is that is that missile rail supposed to be like a skid? a bit just to like use them as flaps so we can be going as like as slowly as possible when we do start to land and hopefully miss that debris on the runway you want you want a ah oh, that's a scale army man toy I don't want to know about your scale man toys. I mean, hey, hey, no judgment here, but you know, just, you know, just, 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 just a little, maybe a little. I'm guessing that wasn't intended as a skit then. The US Marine and a jetpack fitted excellent like machine guns and missiles. Yes, it, it landed. Yeah, I think it sort of bounced off of the chaff dispenser. Uh, do I have to click on the seat or... Ugh. Okay, that's not... Ugh. You can actually just climb up there. Is that not? Does that not register as like a ramp? Wee. Oh no! Okay. Right. Well, that was fun. What next? Uh, White Raider Twelve has just sent me his actual. Oh. Right. Uh, 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 let's just grab that. Oh, 
Oh, more people. Two people sending in different craft. And Kelly. Oh, and Kelly's got one he's about to send in. Fantastic stuff. Like the. I do like the look of. The, oh my god! I haven't streaming now on the Discord. How the hell did I get out of the habit of doing that? And why did the wrong did the wrong thumbnail show up on the Discord? I set that differently before I scheduled the stream. I oh, never mind. Get that downloaded then. Uh, wait, hang on. Let me pull it falls. Did I download that? Just double check. Oh, yes, I downloaded both of those. Okay. We're set up. We're good to go. So. Yeah, that might be it. Sue, so what username are you going by? So I think, in an updated version from last time, the FM26 Laria by uh, Crayfish, and a last minute update, the Lightning Bolt F4. Oh, that's you. I did, Vincent. I did. Oh, damn it. Uh, uh, where do we get down to? GT Kerman. So we want Ion, Josh, Soup, Steak. Watermelon and Rengent. Spawn only! Yes, and this is going up again. See, I went over to Tor's Lightning Bolt before I said that. The Lightning Bolt F4 and the... Oh! Oh! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Well, these are interesting. 
Yeah, I think I remember the previous version we had. I think was it no countermeasures was the reason we uh, we had to stop that. Just going backwards, about to hit the other guy after that. Ah! Oh. Look at that! Hello! <laughs> I think we're gonna have to stop the respawn. Morning. Whereabouts would it be morning? Uh, West Coast US. Oh god, it's happening again. Stop it, stop it. Okay, well this thing is clearly nuts. not to fly into each other, that's grand. Okay, missiles away finally. Pair of arm rams. Lightning bolts uh, managed to get their missiles away as well. Let's turn on the old dogfight cam. More missiles being popped as they break low. That is quite confusing. Just showers of chaff appearing on the screen. He, he has, Kelly has already mentioned that he, he can copy and paste the E. He does have the E sort of saved to his clipboard, but he, he doesn't, so sadly not the gotcha. Okay, out of A120s, how are the Larriers doing? Still breaking low and dodging. Missile goes underneath Ion and Jebediah's craft. Ion turning hard. Trying to line up a shot. Trying to get a lock. Sidewinder away. Another sidewinder away. Out of missiles. Picks guns. Picks a different target. Picks another different target. Just flies about doing something in the middle of nowhere. Oh, fair play to you. Oh god, lightning bolt F4 coming in. I think a pair of them picking on Iron Kerman. Iron Kerman knocked down and out. Let's go and look at something from the Lightning Bolt's uh, point of view. Ah, I couldn't quite get that. Oh! A pair of Vulcans decapitates one of the Larriers! One of the stricken. That's the damaged, heavy damaged Larrier. That goes into the ground. One left. Short range Sidewinder doesn't come to anything. That's the last missile for Josh and uh, Bill Kerman. Yeah. Three streams of gunfire coming in. Ah, and that only ever ends one way. Hasn't given up quite yet, though. 
<laughs> Looked to be coming in for a half decent landing, but no. It's just straight. That's where it's morning. Six twenty. Six twenty-two in the wow. So, victory for the Lightning Bolt F4s by White Rider 12. Commiserations for the Larriers by Crayfish. Interesting craft, though. What do we have next on our little list? More the Larrier. <laughs> Oh, look at an unwashed carrot. So Kev Dogs and the M3S1 uh, next on the list is Ben Aaron with his NGS15 Corbian. And Yosemite then back up to Adam and Ben and Bryce, Ghosty, Gorilla, Spawn. Show your mod list, please. My mods don't work pro My mod list. Uh, oh, hang on. That's, hang on, hang on, um, see if I can get, oh, let's just, okay, that's, that's, that's them, that's, that's all of the mods I have in at the moment, for this, for this install, it is, it is on the Discord. Now let's just get rid of that, and I will want that back, and I want this back. So, the M3S1. Now with added gearless deployment technology. Assuming we need to close those. You never know. Okay, interesting graft. Um, Gower 22 armed, and of course we have uh, Ben Aaron's craft. Um, some slight deviations from the usual looks, maybe, but... Um, Definitely a Ben Aaron craft. Let's uh, let's start this. is getting up pretty quickly. So just you know, with these e both these craft taking a while to get to range. These obviously I think these are set for lower um, default speed. I 
very interested to see how these perform straight off the bat. Okay. Weapons bays, I assume for uh, stealth reasons. Uh, the sadly for the M3s, the NGS is only armed with heat seekers. Breaking low, missiles coming in. A couple of sidewinders away. How are these guys doing it, dodging the missiles? Yosemite Gun and Jebediah. Yep. Pair of Amrams away. Yeah, they are packing with the Amrams, aren't they? I mean, that was another couple away, and they've still got like seven more. Something's paused, something's been hit. One of Ben Aaron's craft has gone. I think there may have been a bit of a an exhaust the countermeasures strategy going on here. Some short range AMRAMs going on. Ben Aaron's craft just about managed. Oh no, that was an A9. How can they do in close quarters? It looks like the M3s have got the advantage. Gorilla Kermit has... Can't quite line up the shot. Gorilla Kermit has, to put it mildly, a lot to do. I mean, it's a capable... My God, look at that! It's a hit can turn! But it doesn't have much time with the attention of all the other craft. Switches targets. Might be a good move, might not be. Can't get that shot away. It's a joust. It's a hit. It's a missile evaded. Oh, and guns raining in. Think. Why is one of the M3s all the way over there? Missile coming in. Okay, I think it's. Um, I think that looks like it's missed. Oh, that one doesn't. Oh! Ow! Uh, 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 nailed it. So a missile based strategy wins the day. Um, let's switch the chaos that ensues. Yosemite Kerman, despite being outnumbered, doing very, very well. Beautiful. Taking the other ones apart. Somebody going in a bit of trouble now. Ah! Yeah, there's the ground. 
And the one that uh, he's 71 ish damage there as well. Oh, no, this one didn't get, uh, didn't get away scot free either. You can see, yeah, missing the. Um, uh, missing one of the tail fins and missing a little section of its wing fuselage as well. Anyway, congratulations to Kevdogs, congratulations to Ben Allen. Not often you say that. Um, I'm not sure how memey this next one is, is actually going to be. I am playing on the latest version, 1. Point, uh, do you mean KSP or BD on? Well, both. This is 1.12.5 BD Armoury and 1.6.11 BD Armoury plus 1.12.5 KSP and yeah. Anyway. The Bevy Hasted by Steak. And um, what's next after that? Next on the list. The CI Cricket 22 Cricket. I'm assuming this is the air to air version. And um, we got down to Gorilla GT Josh Super Sneak. Watermelon Spawn only! Uh, we've gone past the time, so Super Chat is enabled if you'd like to help support the channel that way. Or if you'd like to help support the channel in any other way, there are links to the PayPal on the Patreon description. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, like um, Ion Kerman and Josh Kerman and Ben Kerman, and all those. Uh, as well as your name at the end of the video is access to the uh, Patreon and Discord. Access to everything I upload to Patreon. Not a lot going on with those last two at the moment, but, you know, you never know. And all your kind, kind, kind donations can help me keep this channel running and hopefully making it bigger and better. Uh, let me make a note. Do, 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 made a note of that, White Raider. Jennifer Gwenter, hello! Ah, oh, the bevy hasted is a the bevy hasted is a um a prop plane a gow eight armed prop plane a twin gow eight armed prop plane with armor panels everywhere and this is also a prop plane of sorts. Does this thing have any counter? This thing has no countermeasures. And these weren't put on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of all the, I'm gonna get rid of all the missiles on this. Yeah, you've got an empty missile pile on there. I'm gonna get rid of these. And I'm gonna just see these two in a fair fight. Getting a bit of pausing there. It's all full of the hold. It's cute. I want to pull that 
pull up at some point. I mean, you know, you enjoy the runway if you need to, but... Okay, there we go. How's the bevy hastard doing? A mite better. It's fine, it's fine, it might be suffering from some power problems. But I do, I love the design. Yeah, it's having real problems keeping its altitude above 200 meters. And this thing is has left some of its wing men behind, so that's... They should catch up, but I might have to just... This thing is, this thing has issues turning. Competition starting. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Damn! Now, but now they have to gain altitude because their opponents are quite high in the air. So I'm assuming they will do so. Brick, of course, it has turning issues. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting because I think the crickets will be at their most vulnerable during that first pass. Um, also, with the difference in power, I think there's going to be a bit of an energy fighting thing that will disadvantage the cricket. Okay. Gallic bullets are coming in. Ah, oh, one of the crickets is not doing too well. Oh dear. Getting a smattering. Getting a smattering and not a lot. Not a lot Steve Kerman can do about it. Selected the browning. Okay. Guns away. Guns out. No. Oh, Christ. That one's dead. That one's not long for the world. One of the bevy hastards was crashed and burned. Watermelon Kerman is is gonna try his hardest. I and mean, look at this, they they can't turn oh they have finally turned. Interesting to see how they cope with the missile panels. Sorry, with the armor panels on them. Because that is some. That's some. Oh, it's had. It's had one of his. Uh, one of his gallates blown off. Trying desperately to pull up. Oh, oh. Cheesy Carmen wins the day. 
just by pulling up in time. Maybe that wasn't an entirely fair fight. I was sent an air to ground version. We're going to just reload that and do something a little bit different though. Ain't got no gas in it. Where are we? We looked at that, we looked at that, we looked at that, we looked at that. That okay, this is taking a while to, to spawn. I promise the front end fell off. Ugh, come on. Right. Ten likes. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, this thing is not... It's not liking something about these craft. Come on. There we go. And this time, we're going to rerun that fight. But we're not going to strip the crickets of their missiles. How much does this thing weigh? Not you. 26 tons. Twenty six ridiculous tons. I like this. I love this as a concept. It just looks really nice. So I'm a missile rail sort of attached to a, a disposable fuel. Mm. Mark zero, mark zero, scaled up. Mark one. I love the look of this thing. It's time for the competition to start. Now these things will not have the world's biggest heat signatures. The thing is, these things are going to want to climb to 200 before they start firing their missiles. Uh, Watermelon Kerman's craft is just going off and doing entirely its own thing. Oh god, this could be problematic. <sighs> yeah, get around. Select your A9. Come around, see if you can get a lock. There we go. Oh, another one came in. Lost its tail. This one's not doing well. This one, this one is, I reckon, is just about to sort of save it. <laughs> yeah, tails tend to be pretty useful. Heat seeking missile. Ow! Again, lost the tail.
there goes his wingman. Um, just about, I'm assuming that's like through just reaction wheels or something. Managing to hold it together pretty well, actually. The bevy hasted going for ramming speed. Oh, they're both still in the air. And these are all still running away and not pointing themselves at their enemy and sort of... Okay, you're engaging. You're actually engaging. I think there must be like um, a distance beyond which they just... Oh, it's tracking. It, it, it has actually tracked. No, it didn't. <laughs> and browning the, the brownies going in as well okay the um, the cricket's not not in a mood to mess about this time it's a bit bizarre that this thing is still flying Oh god, here we go. Losing more part I think he's lost a bit of wing service under the armour. Hang on, is he... Save yourself. How do you... Oh, the plane, the plane disappeared. That's... That's what happened there. Although he does have a spacesuit on, so maybe lack of oxygen is not going to be his um, his foremost concern. And then it's just a short swim back to shore. Nice job with the crickets, though. Also, low heat signature because of the... Um, Oh, he's seen because of the propellers. Oh, browning fire coming in. Have the brownings been buffed recently, or is that just because it's a pair of brownings? That kind of looked cool. Oh, and it just went straight into the ground. Right. Let's go for a, another regular fight, and then we've got a bunch of Minecraft to look over. <laughs> Do you face through reality? Uh, eight Brownings. Uh, that might do it. For Lazy Sam, fight too tired, no work anymore by Kelly. And I suppose just a short scroll down. We have the FASA X43 by Action. Where did we get to? Watermelon Curlin. Rendrance, Yosemite, Adam, Ben, Bryce, Ghosty. Spawn only! That's what we like. don't watch. Don't take LSD while watching Black Mirror. <laughs> Four in the gun pods in the wings. 
that needs more power. That needs more power, but you get enough power on that thing, that would, that would be absolutely amazing. That's that is manned craft. Is this that's a drone? Don't generally put drones up against ordinary craft, so we will skip to the next one. I had a message, I hear sounds. Uh, oh my god, I don't know where it'll be. Uh, FA24 by uh, Kells. Let's, uh, let's see if that's any good. Do, 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 do. Let's see how the channel is doing. Oh, bit of a subscriber bonanza today. Okay, viewer numbers have done well in the last four hours. That's looking good. Nice. Back to the live stream chat window and back to this. Okay, this might be an unfair fight. But I genuinely, genuinely just cannot be asked <laughs> to do another lineup. One of these is having difficulty, yeah. Oh, custom mod wheels, you crazy, crazy things. Are you doing? Let's just take the brakes off and do this the old fashioned way. Oh, and you've done it as well. Oh, for God's sake. Hold on a second. Why can't you be more like the Lazy Sams? 
Anyway, let's uh, yeah, let's get this one going. Uh, stick this back out to ten thousand and start the competition. Oh, it's using that NMB weird engine that doesn't do does something that no ordinary engine does. Gow eights, twelve A nines. Uh, yeah, going for the um, going for the mod missiles here. What engines are you going for? These are the cheaters. Yeah, these are the cheaters. So definitely going stealth plane mode. I don't know how stealthy this is going to be in practice. Okay, AI having a bit of fun there. Missiles away, but then so are the lazy Sams. Oh, the lazy Sams are really having trouble turning. Like they are really having trouble turning. Like even now I've enabled that, they can't, they just can't. Yeah. I think we need to put these up against something a bit, um, Maybe we could put them up against the F. Um, those X 43s. Uh, so you did Ben, Bryce, and Ghosty. So let's actually do. Let's actually do Rengeance. And Yosemite and Adam. No, wrong one. And Adam. No, the other ones did have crew in them, didn't they? Oh, for goodness sake. Right. Sorry, I thought it was. I'm getting myself mixed up there. Okay. Ben and Bryson go to eat, so Gorilla and GT Isle. Spawn! Uh, d d DM me rather than just uh, dumping it in Craft Showcase. Go on, 8 o'clock, just time for me to say Super Chat is enabled if you'd like to help support the channel that way. Or if you'd like to help support the channel in any other way, there are links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the description. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, like Gorilla GT and Iron Kerman here, who you'll see in a minute, hopefully. Uh, as well as name at the end of the regular videos, access to the Patreon and the Discord, access to everything I upload to Patreon. Don't go hoping for an awful lot from those last two just yet. And all your kind donations help me to keep this channel running and hopefully grow up to something bigger and better. 13 likes now, thank you very much everybody. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Oh god, these things are going to do that. 
Now you just do your thing. In fact, you know what we're going to do with you? So you come over here. So like point yourself out like that. And you come over here and point yourself kind of in that direction. And you, once we've gotten through the part pausing bit, You come over here. Wait, 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 wait. That was weird. Oh, I hate it when it does that bug. Right, where did I want to stick you? I really hate it when it does that. Right, and get you pointing in that direction. As place you. The chime out chair. Yeah. We have to see what's going on with these. Are oh, they using the typhoons? Okay, they they got up to a very quick speed, very well, quickly. Ten thousand, wasn't it? Yeah, just checking the game. It has successfully saved since I last did it. Well, that's the beauty of a drone, isn't it? Keeping it, the needle right on that two hundred meters per second there. Doing a pretty good job. And suddenly, it just stopped caring. Coming around, plenty of missiles to uh, chuck out. If it can actually get a lock. No! Just swirled around and around and around before I had to start breaking load to actually um, avoid the missiles. One of these taken a hit. These are both, both these craft using mob missiles. So which one's been damaged? That one. Nothing fatal by the looks of things. Oh, it's doing that annoying pausing thing. Let's actually do this one and see if that does the pausing thing and sort of get that out of the way at the very least. Really not getting those missiles away. Just flips around, just shedding A nines everywhere. <laughs> oh god, okay. The F A the the yeah, the X the um X forty three Oh here we go. I can actually get missiles away. No, you're not you're not fussed, you're not you're not fussed about getting oh, it doesn't have any. Now uh, into the water for you. the top. <laughs> Underwater. Thanks for that. Okay. Gal 22. Not doing a bad job there actually. 
both craft equipped with, I think this one's only got a single GAL-22, but the X-43 armed with twin GAL-22s, which seem to be doing okay when it can actually bring them to bear. But that's the problem, it's now got a three on one and bits falling off there. Lost an air intake, lost bits of the wing, losing more stuff, trying to pull out the dive, can't do it. That, that, I don't know if anyone was watching the speed indicator there, but that was, that was a bit weird for a second. What are you doing? It's ri rising slowly from the deep, determined to wreak its re revenge. Let's give you some company. Oh, brutal. Yeah, can't pull out the dive, really. And now you as well. Oh, it's a joust. The underwater drone still determined to rise from the deep and impact itself bodily upon one of the F-24s. Coming around, it looks like GT Kerman's craft is having a bit of trouble in the dive. Oh god, that's not, sorry, a bit of trouble in the turn. That's, that's not going to do you any favours. Smattering of bullets, but I think it's just going to go into the sea. Yeah. Probe update. Up oh, only 580, about 580 meters under the sea now. Yeah, this this thing this thing's going this thing's going to attack. Except it can't because the target's half a kilometre underwater. Can we move this? Flashed. Ramming speed! Why does it why doesn't it count why isn't it counted as landed? Why isn't it counting as landed and, and it's been taken out by the BD armor? Wow, what the hell is going on with that radar? Nope, you're gonna turn away, you're not you're not up for it. Probe's looking at you a bit too threateningly, is it? Maybe if I just hold it here. Right. Oops, sorry, I've taken it a bit away from you. Maybe if I just like, actually hold it here for you. Just hold it a nice easy target, a nice simple height. Okay. That wasn't easy enough. There we go. Okay, let's da down to less than half its hit points.
There we go, thank you. It's making the core angry at Smith. It's just riveting TV action. Right, a couple of things to do while we're here. First of all, ah, uh, one of my legs has gone to sleep. What are these notifications? Metaphorically at the edge of my seat. Ah, <laughs> oh dear, yeah. Oh, that is something I might need to do something about. Right, do you recognize that? That's better. Right, what did I want to do quickly? Excuse me. Uh, Steam. So grey pin one slash source has left the channel. Uh, has sent me JF eighty seven. One back, Rick. Hello. see any guns. Oh, there is some guns. Oh yeah, there's definitely some guns. I am going to save that so I get my own copy of that. We'll see that again later. Just gotta sort something out quickly while we're waiting waiting for this to sort itself out. Um No, actually, I think, uh, ooh, no, no, that's fine. No, we are going to do that. My apologies, just got distracted by something I had to check on and sort out. Where were we? Right. Various different craft, supposedly some of them meme-ish. Um, street light to a missile. Ah, oh, I remember that one. Smith, I'm in Ohio right now. Help. Smith's links being a baby. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
R right. Okay. Where did we get to? Was it Iron Kerman? I think it was Iron Kerman. First gen whistle down, I forgot about that. Uh So this was sent to me by Tim Tam. If it ever loads, and it should load, it's not a particularly high uh, part count craft. To get this up quite high. Oh. That's still our landing gear. Uh, which, 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 which battle? Oh yes, yeah, no, I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Ah, now I'm now I'm slowing down. The speed at which we're dropping is actually yeah is actually increasing because we don't have that lift anymore. So I'm gonna see how long it takes us to drop. Might want a little bit of speed. Just keep us spinning, keep us sort of stable. Because I think I want us into some slightly thicker atmosphere. Maybe not the thousand uh, meters down that we got to previously, but maybe, I don't know, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, just so the air is a bit thicker. Because then, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Let's keep going. Four thousand. Three and a half. This is the Beyblade. Uh, this is Tim Tam. Who is Tim Tam? Oh, we're climbing. We're climbing back up again. <laughs> Just climbing and leaving that little trail.
<laughs> practicality seems does seem just 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 that little that slight little bit of maybe if I actually sort of need it maybe off to one side in fact that should probably do us no it's just it's just gone flat again oh maybe not flat oh no we we, we have Ladies and gentlemen, we have a direction of travel. Oh, and it's gone flat again. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Anyway. Hang on. That keeps running out of intake air. But not with infinite propellant, it won't. Look at that baby climb. <laughs> oh my god, look at the wobble on that. Josh Kerr and I expect has had quite enough of that. Thank you for that, Tim Tam. That is... That's... That, that's... Yeah, that's definitely that. Head Rodney JJ, hello! I've had a message request. Let's see what that is about. And... Okay... Just, just take that into there. Lovely stuff. Let's take another look at something else. Someone has. Oh. Um. Legged lack. I do have something to do with legged lack. One of legged lack's craft a bit later. Oh, come on. Great old one. So Legolac sent me something which I am very interested to take a look at. Oh, the Minecraft block. Oh, God. I really need to start archiving some of these. Like it is getting, it is getting quite silly by this point. Intensive but intents and purposes. We have standards on this channel. <laughs> oh, that's that's such a lie. Reverse engineered aircraft by like that. Reverse engineered air. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> They're not good standards. <laughs> Oh, 
one final time, Super Chat is enabled if you'd like to help support the channel that way, or if you'd like to help support the channel in any other way, there are links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the description. You too can get your own little patron Kerbal, like Josh Kerman, who's about to have the um, honour <laughs> of, uh, of flying this thing for the first time, as well as your name at the end of the video is access to the Patreon and Discord. Access to everything I upload to Patreon! Not a lot going on with those last two at the moment, but... But all your kind donations do go, uh, do help me keep this channel running and, um, yeah, hopefully help me make it bigger and better. How well can this thing fight? And how the hell is it stable in the yaw? This thing is just... And it flies really well. Oh god, we've got to do it. We've got to do this. Uh, who's who's next on the list? Uh, maybe. I think this is, this is. I mean, this this is. It's a meme graph, but it it flies like a standard thing. So let's go. Soup. Uh, speak. Watermelon. Vengeance. Yosemite. Adam. Oh, I really want to see this. Love crafting horrors. Well, I don't know, I'm just cheeky. <laughs> this, this is, this is absolutely genius. Not the second one. Um, not the second one, right, Raider 12, because we've just, we, we've, we've had, um, well, some people haven't, haven't even gone once yet, so we're just uh, we're just looking at this. So grey pin one, and his JF eighty seven, and then legged lack with his reverse engineered craft. Start competition. Uh, do you have fuel? You do not have an autopilot. So we go down to the next on the list. Uh, we can probably fix that in a second. We will want uh, care safe 50. Yeah. So this is accelerator. Slash, was it Jennifer? Jennifer, yes. See you in a second, Soup. Oh, denied. That's got parts that aren't on the, aren't in my little mod thing. Um... What else do I have? I just need something to take it up there so that it can blat basically. If it, well, just even if it's just something I can take up and blat. Uh, Elgu was sixty-three. That is that's a spam notification from Snapchat. Goodbye. Should put that on something softer so it's not right on the wood. Um, so this is something Ion sent me. I think this is an updated, I think Ion sent me the original El Goober like ten months ago. Because I had to delete one 
to get this one in here. So let's see what we get here. This might not be even remotely, but as I said, even if it's just something for the for the uh, legged let's craft basically blat, then that's that's fine. That's interesting. Procedural structural element, okay. Yeah, you know, we'll 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 go with that. I still haven't got the colours on, I do still have the Okay, this might actually be a half decent competitor. Little squirrely. Like like those ones having some serious difficulty. Okay. <laughs> I just switched to it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it for a moment. <laughs> I mean, I knew that was what was going on, but I turned to it, and I still wasn't expecting just the craft to be flying backwards. <laughs> ah. Oh, they're having they're having real difficulties. They're having real difficulties. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, competition starting. Around, around ye come. It can't be that difficult to just to just line up a missile. And apparently, it isn't. Supercarman trying to get one on target. Yep, gets one away. And another one. This is just... The old goobers just pumping a load of countermeasures just while they spin happily. What else do they have? Uh, A9s and Vulcans. Well, I mean, it certainly spreads the uh, spreads the flares out if you do all the spinning stuff, but I'm not sure I'd recommend it as a missile avoidance strategy. Um, another one away. I mean, get them into gun range. These things are not going to do well, but Soup Carmen. Oh, going for guns now. Nope, going for another missile. Short range sidewinder. Oh, that might do it. That might do it. Does not. Does it a little bit. And then follows it in with the guns. That one's just been taken apart. This one has just basically been taken apart. <laughs> again. I did it again. I looked at the craft and it was. <laughs> my brain was not expecting it to be going backwards. Why do, why do we get that stuff in the... Uh, switch teams. Oh, I lost both the tail fins. Ouch. And once more. Straight into the ground. 
Uh, you can you can you can pull up there. <laughs> wow. Um, try and get away from there before the craft despawns and takes you with it. Um, oh, uh, okay. Maybe move a bit further away from the craft because that's that's not going to be good for your health. Oh, my computer didn't like that for some reason. Right, making progress, making progress. I just have to pop back to the space plane hangar. Oh, I see it's got vertical things in the nose. Ah. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I know this is being... That is... I love that. I genuinely... Let me just make some notes here. Uh... JF87. This thing didn't have. Is it an autopilot? I kind of just need to confirm exactly what it is this is missing. Here we have. Weapon manager, yeah, so it's the it is the um it is the autopilot it's missing. Legacy parts Orbital AI pilot flight computer. Okay, I'm going to just take that out. So what do we have left to look at? Andrew Lee. The stinky broccoli. Let me just actually Sending a quick message to somebody and then back to this. Not a lot of clear ground clearance though. Um, what are we going to go for? We're not going to take a look at this just yet. It's made a lawn mower. Fighting men to be preferred over fighter jets. Reversing airborne lawn mower. <laughs> Right, down here, Andrew Lee. And what I sense might be one last roll of the dice. A 
I sent another craft. Oh, where did we get to with that last one? Was it? I think we just got up. Was it just just Adam Kerman? Oh God, we'll just no. I think we did do Ben. Was it GT? And that would be Ion and I. Uh, that would be GT Kerman, Ion, Josh. Well, this is what we're doing now, regardless. Accuracy be damned. Fifteen likes. Thank you very much, everybody. Are we going to get everything in? I think so. <laughs> Said the actress to the bishop. No. Um. Yeah, my game is slowing right down now. Yes. Andrew Lee is determined to get one over on Legolax Postal Advanced Trainer. And so this is his latest attempt, which looks remarkably like the Postal Advanced Trainer. So the, is this just Has he just like made a copy and stuck more stuff, or different stuff on it? What's what's happening here? Uh, okay, that the other one's got Gal twenty twos. Let me just look at the rear wing section. Yeah, the rear wing sections are a little bit different as well. Oh, the, yeah, the tail section is different. Hmm. So. Let's get this started. I think Andrew's going for the if you can't beat them, join them, then beat them philosophy. It's uh, BCK3. Uh, we, uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be back to uh, some more CK3 on, on uh, Tuesday. BG3, I don't know, I've enjoyed it. It might be the second only first plays game that goes to three streams. Oh my god, yeah, you are you are going for the missiles, aren't you? Uh three and three, the post store. Just the one and one actually. Saving the missiles, saving some missiles for sort of close combat. So the hail of missile strategy going on there has not produced any results as of yet. Postal advanced trainer getting into a bit of postal manoeuvres there. Shouldn't really be surprised. Okay, the advanced trainers retaining their missiles look closer in. So the the market was one of the Sorry, I thought one of the Maccos had gone for a moment. So the Maccos will be lighter at this stage. Suit come trying to go for the short range sidewind and not really managing it. Mako 2. Oh, one of the Mako 2s. Taking a hit. This Mako 2 just. just. Oh, God. Andrew sent this to me. He sent me the Mako or the Mako, whatever it is. 
saying this one, this is my first craft that beat the postal advance trend. And then he sent me the Mako 2 saying, this one beats it every time. Aha. Just the element of surprise, that's all this thing needed and suddenly it's, oh no, two of these things is, no. Surprise isn't enough. These things just too can just get round and just finish you off, regardless of how <laughs> how good your initial situation. Brutal, absolutely brutal. So we have two more usable craft, and then um, White Raider wanted give his F4 a go against the hang time. So we've got now to Watermelon Carmen. Um, soup. Apparently this thing is armed. So I'll sort of, I'll see if it will load and go as a 227. Watermelon, uh, so, no, watermelon, so that'd be vengeance. I think we're just going to have a look at this on its own. I think just, just that's probably best. In fact, let's just, uh, clear all, vengeance, come on. Let's just take a look at this just on its own. See you later, Kelly. Andrew, oh god, he was just sent me that craft set. Oh, this 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 beats it. This beats it every time. This beats his his trainer every time. I'm like, eh. So two hundred and twenty-seven parts. I don't think I'm going to put this into a dog fight. I think we're just going to take a look at this as it is. What in the name of all that is holy is going on here? I think maybe there were some action group shenanigans I should have familiar familiarised myself with beforehand. Okay, I think I should have pressed 1 to, um, to start this off, but this is... So I do press one. Huh. Question on everyone's lips now, though. What do we have? We've got an M61. How many of these things do we have? I think it's just the two. I mean, this is kind of awesome. Oh god. No, it's fine. What was I about to do? Yes. I want to know...
Oh god, let's just land it here. If I can land this thing. Kind of? Don't do that. Press the gear button. Oh! So we've got to destroy something. Nice. Is there something in these? Are these just, these aren't just ordinary, how many, ga how many Vulcans do we have in here? Looks like just the two. That is kind of cool. Is it meant to just like be a surface skimmer or something? No, you don't quite get enough lift. Just the two. Oh god. Oh god. Maybe get that deploying controlling pitch a bit more because I think we need a little bit more control. That's kind of awesome though. Right. I have got so that was Rengent's coming. Ruin someone's hopes and dreams again. <laughs> right, the JF eighty seven will get an outing at last. Um what am I gonna put that up against? I think once again we are gonna take my get just get my links for an outing because there's uh right, Rengeance, you just went in that graph too. Uh Adam, Ben, Bryce, Ghosty, Gorilla, Spawn. Billions of dollars of R&D down the drain. I have I have a funny feeling we will be seeing, uh, we will be seeing another Andrew Lee craft. In the next, in the next, um, in in the next, uh, in the next metal bag. Let me see if I can find his email. It took a while, but finally got something to beat the leg electron. trainer. Only did it once, very close to be precise, but I think it's ready for its debut later. That's the Mako. The Mako 2 now can 100% beat the trainer. Oh, Andrew, I'm sorry. So we get this done. This is this. This will see us at the end of our list, and then we will squeeze in an F4 versus um, Hang Time fight.
assuming this just relies on uh, engine vectoring for um, relies on engine vectoring for its yaw stability. See you later, Ren. Hopefully, see you Tuesday for some more Swedish shenanigans. Okay, the competition starts. Nope, got that one a little bit wrong. Sonny just uh, looked down, heard the engines suddenly flare up and <laughs> looked up. Oh, it's going. No, no, it hadn't, it hadn't quite started yet. Okay, missiles away from the JF-87s. Maybe relying on thr thrust vectoring for yawing isn't that bad an idea, but I'd at least have like a tiny little thing to provide some kind of like passive stability. Because this just isn't getting the job done, really. Okay, so AMRAMs and AIM-9s will be uh, will be making their way in from the Lynxes. JF-87s. Those Vulcans can't quite line up the shots all the way around pretty quickly. That's impressive from both craft. See as the Lynx is actually quite an impressive turner along its pitch axis. The problem is it just does not have the can't match that nimbleness in the roll axis, which is kind of its Achilles heel. Coming around. Still got three AMRAMs. How did that happen? Oh, the JF-87 was managing to get its guns away. Bryce Kelman does likewise, does manage to get a pretty heavy hit on the JF-87. Can't quite match it again. to come around again. Oh, the JF-87 is spinning out quite badly. That's going to go into the ground. It does. We are down to just the one healthy JF-87, which is itself playing around a little too close to the ground. Oh my god. That was, that was really good. Oh, this has suffered from damage. This has taken some, uh, taken some gunfire or some, uh, a glancing hit from a missile or something. Okay, that took some. That took some. Uh, that took some gunfire. I think it just needs that little bit extra yaw stability. Just as I said, like a tiny little fin in there or something, so that you know, um, so that the engine will be more than enough to actually yaw the craft. But it does have some stability in the your axis without having to rely on that engine. Um, what were we doing? Up a little bit more. Lightning bolt F4. Um, versus... where are we? This is the hang time. So we've got a Gorilla, GT, Ion, Josh, Soup, Speak, Watermelon, Go. How would you post stall a radar? Uh, um, could do.
Okay. So, White Rider 12 requested this, his Lightning Bolt F4, against um, Brett Ryland's Hang Times. So last time we put these up against missileless opposition, this time the opposition will have missiles. We'll have to see if the Hang Times can actually countermeasure their way out of trouble. No, we can't. We can't switch to those. We've got to stick with these, really, haven't we? Let's go. That always makes me worried when I hear that sound, but it's just the landing things of these just crashing to the ground. These things just, they're so light. If someone strapped an engine to a glider, like a really powerful engine to a glider, and stuck, stuck some guns on it. And The weakness of this is going to be the fact it just has the one Browning as a gun. And basically, if you collide with it, it's dead. Times managing to dodge that initial volley of missiles reasonably easy and get into gun range. Get some shots away. Oh my god, that was. Okay, I think both craft managed to get some shots away. Ah. The problem is, armed with only a Browning. There's only so much damage you can do. It's going to be a war of attrition. Who knows who's going to run out of fuel first. That was, again, some damage into the lightning bolt. But which lightning bolt was that? Oh, for goodness sake, it's doing the pausing thing. That really... It managed to get some uh, damage into one of the wings. Was it this one? Yeah, but... Barely anything. Guns away. It looks like the lightning bolts are managing to get the odd pot shot at the uh, at the hang times, but it's just a case of you know. You know, I think the double Vulcans are gonna do a lot more damage than that, just that one Browning. So it's a war of attrition, and both sides have something going for them. Josh Kerman spins out. Again! More browning fire, but oh my god! Yeah, again! Hang time went into the lightning bolt and came off worse. So now, I mean, they are incredibly manoeuvrable. I'm not sure if it's like a, a weight issue, which is the reason that um, Brett went for the uh, went, went for the uh, Browning. But, I mean, if, if if it wasn't, then you've got to switch this up for something a little bit more potent, haven't you? Deep Kerman had a wing taken off. Oh, and the other hang time. He's gone. Oh, and the last hang time's gone. I just wanted to check this one that actually he bailed out in time. Some damage there. Yeah, a missing wing section. Nothing that I can see there. 
Hang on. Yeah, little bits of damage here and there and everywhere. But see that air intake got more than half of its things taken off and just couldn't bring those guns to bear for a consistent enough period of time to make it count. Um I I couldn't go do your fight. I sent you a message. Ah. Uh, let me just see if we can just quickly let's clear all. Uh, let's go to where is it? KSA fifteen X. Clear all. Oh clear. Clear. And let's just get where do we get down to? I think we went do we get down to watermelon? I don't know. When I try to spawn this what part is it? Uh, TT.19.nh.generator I'm not sure which uh, which mod that's from but anyway it's coming up quarter past I'm gonna have to go uh, see you later White Raider 12 um, but yes thank you everybody for coming along thank everybody for uh, sub who submitted a craft especially uh, thank you but thank you to all of you for uh, for all your likes, for all your comments. That's from Tundra. Uh, no problem, no problem. I uh, if you send me another version, uh, the next one's in two weeks' time. We'll get it on. We'll get it in on there. Um, Tuesday. Tuesday is we're back to Sweden for our little Crusader Kings three playthrough. Do come along. It's a, it's a lovely, chilled little stream, and we have we do have a a, a bit of a laugh during it because Crusader Kings three. <laughs> it's uh, it's 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 an interesting little game. Next weekend, um, Sunday, hopefully a video out. But and in the evening, they will they will um, be uh, if all goes to plan, a Smith build stream. Um, so plenty of stuff coming up. Um, in the meantime, I better go and make sure everything is tickety boo around the tickety boo. Who uses the phrase tickety boo anymore? Let me make sure everything's okay around the house. Um, yes. So, it was great to see you all. Uh, two weeks, if everything goes to plan, as I said. Great to see you all. Um, yeah, plenty of stuff coming up. Until then, though, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.